Hey guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very different video. I'm actually going to be doing makeup on a friend today because I want to show you guys a really gorgeous makeup look for olive skin tones. So this is my friend Julia and today we're going to be bringing out her eyes, correcting some discoloration, and really defining her beautiful face structure. My goal for this makeup application is to really define all of her features, so I'm going for an everyday glam type of look. So I'm first applying moisturizer to the skin and then I'm going into contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in Medium. And I'm first bronzing up her skin with the bronzer shade and then I'm going in with the darker contour shade And I'm really sculpting out her cheeks as well as her temples and jawline because I really want her face to be nice and sharp She's a gorgeous oval face shape So I'm really just sort of bringing that out and then I'm taking the banana shade and I'm applying that down the bridge of her nose on the forehead on the sides of the mouth on the chin as well as underneath the eyes but not directly underneath the eyes because I don't want to cake up that area. I'm then taking a full coverage foundation, this is the Armani Luminous Silk, and I'm applying that on top of the contour and then blending everything out with the Beauty Blender. This method works really well in making the contour look almost natural, like it's sort of coming from within and not just sitting on top of your foundation. I really, really, really like this method. So I'm pretty much just patting along all the edges to make sure that everything is nice and blended. I'm then going in with a corrector to correct any dark circles and I'm using this Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector which is amazing. And then I'm going in with a full coverage concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard and then I'm just blending that out. And you can see that completely erased all of her dark circles. This combo is amazeballs. Then I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm setting all of her contour and highlight. I always like to set creams with powders, it just locks it in place and it also makes everything just a little bit more intense. And then of course taking that banana shade and just patting that underneath the eyes and pretty much everywhere where I put a highlighter shade to once again set it and brighten everything up. All right, now it's time to move on to the eyes. So I'm first priming her eyes with some Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee on a fluffy brush to just softly define her crease, and this is going to be our transition shade. So this is just going to help everything else blend and look a lot smoother. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, and I'm using this to really define her crease as well as the outer corner of her eye. I love using this really warm brown on medium skin tones. I think it looks gorgeous. Now, speaking of eyeshadows that look good on medium and olive skin tones, I find and the metallics look absolutely gorgeous so I opted for this Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow in Mesmerize. The color is sort of like a taupe but with some plum undertones to it, it looks amazing on brown eyes as well. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Mocha and I'm using that to really define the outer corners of her eye just to add a little bit more definition. I'm going back and forth between a blender brush and a big fluffy brush to make sure everything is really nice and smooth. Now to add a little bit more of a metallic shine, I'm taking my Stila Kitted Magnificent Metals eyeshadow and I'm applying that straight in the center of the lid and this will make your eyes pop and like I said metallics look gorgeous on olive skin tones then I'm applying Makeup Geek Shimmer Shima in the inner corner of the eye and on the brow bone to make everything pop now it's time to put on some eyeliner so I'm using my MAC gel eyeliner and I'm just lining her eyes and creating just a tiny little wing to really lift up her eyes right at the outer corner and this creates a really really beautiful cat eyed effect and makes her eyes look even more almond shaped than, than they already are basically this is a little close up of what we have so far she was really loving it right there so I'm just going in and touching things up with my beauty blender to make sure everything is still nice and smooth and then I'm going in with Cocoa Bear and Mocha on her lower lash line to define it and of course blending it out with some peach smoothie or creme brulee. Then I'm going in with a highlighter. This is Artist Couture. Yes, this is such a gorgeous highlighter for medium skin. It is has like a really pretty golden undertone. There was a really fast clip of me there applying her blush. I use MAC Lovejoy. It's a gorgeous plum blush with a lot of gold shimmer in it. Again, it works really well with medium skin. Then I'm just filling in her brows even though I don't really need to because her brows are perfect. And I just applied some um, Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer on her Cupid's bow to make her lips pop. And now I'm lining them with MAC Whirl filling them in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood, which is such a gorgeous nude. And then I'm putting some Gerard Cosmetics Shimmer of Hope Lip Gloss right in the center of her lips. After applying some falsies off camera, I applied some individuals. I'm applying a few coats of mascara. And then once you're done with that, you're pretty much done the whole entire makeup look. So this is what the makeup looks like when we're all done. You can see that it is not too overdone, but it's still glamorous, it's beautiful, and it just brings out all of her gorgeous features 
I really hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I've never done anything like this before on my channel, so definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see me do a makeup look on another quote-unquote client, then I would definitely be happy to do one. Just let me know what type of video you would like to see for mature skin, for a specific skin type, etc. So that's it. Don't forget to like this video, of course, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, and that's pretty much it. I love you guys. See you next time.